Hey, hey guys, welcome back to Clever Style. It's time for Style Guide. Yay! Woo! Yes. I'm so excited. You guys know Misty and Jocelyn, Clever Music and Clever TV. Hey guys. Hey, hey. But our guest of honor, Josh Sussman from Glee. Hey, thanks for having me. <laughs> I am so excited to have you. I mean, we're talking all things women fa women's fashion. Yeah, I have no idea why you're having me. Yet. Hello, look at um, this. Look at this. We de <laughs> you deemed it a voodie. It's a voodie. Would you like to explain what a voodie is? All right, well, this is a vest. Also, a hoodie. Oh, oh maybe. I've never seen that it's before. In. It's like one, it's one piece. So if I want to be casual, or but I also want to be a little dressy, it's this. Guess makes it. I love their clothes. Uh, oh, look at that shout out to Guess. Trishy. I feel like Guess has good clothes. They do. Mm -hmm. yeah. And affordable, good stuff that you can dress the and casual, my <laughs> And I feel confident in their clothes. Walking do poster. You? I love guess. it. Just a smile. Yeah, my love pants it. are Guess also, these jeans. You need to be the <laughs> brand ambassador, Josh. What are you saying you don't know anything about fashion? I know, I can't wait to hear what you have to say about women's fashion. Oh, God. I don't even know why you had me on this show, but <laughs> so you're great. Well, we'll start with an easy question. How would you describe your own personal style? Casual but dressy? Uh, yeah, I think it's really good having a girlfriend because she'll help. She'll be like, don't get that. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, Tess, that's my girlfriend. Hey, uh, what do you think of this? And she'll put that back on the rack. <laughs> so, it's the girlfriend style. Yeah. So that really helps. I love purple. Um, it's not, a good color. Uh, it's I mean, a regal color. Not, yes. Princes wear that color. Yeah. And you know, Justin Bieber. I mean, it's thing. true. So true. I'm not copying Justin. I liked purple since I was a baby. So, it's he copied your own you. thing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he copied me. Bieber followed your personal style. Yeah. I, I feel great about that. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling competitive with him. Like, no. no. We both rock the purples. You yes. both look good in it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, because we have to move into women's fashion, because it is style guide, first question. What do you think of over-the-knee boots? I think it's great if you want to pick up Richard Gere on a wheel <laughs> shirt. <laughs> no. Julia Roberts shout I out. I love it. Pretty, Pretty women. women. I love it. <laughs> so you're saying it's a little inappropriate. Well, I guess it could be when you think of those high boots, but no, it doesn't have to be. It, I, I don't know. They're cool if your legs are warm. They're hot. They're nice. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable. <laughs> so they're yeah. sexy. They're they sexy. Are sexy. Mm -hmm. So how would you feel if Tess wore over the knee boots? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I feel like Rihanna is one of those stars that can do the over the knee boots. Well, she especially loses sexiness. And yeah. she has the longest legs ever. Yeah. So she can definitely pull it off. Legs for days. Would yeah. you guys wear them? I would, but not with a heel. Because I think that's where you get into the like, you know, Richard yeah. Gere territory. But if yeah. they're flat, I'm cool with that. I, I think know. it depends on what you wear them with. If you wear them with like shorts, that's a little bit more scandalous, but if you're wearing them with like jeans or leggings, I think that's not that yeah. appropriate. So I would wear them with pants. I, think. I agree. Do you like that? The kind of like in between sexy but little hidey, yeah. keeping things to the imagination a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Except vinyl is kind of out of the question. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> sorry for me at least. <laughs> yeah, no, I agree with that. <laughs> I would completely agree. Leopard is always good though. Okay. Leopard? Ooh, I like that. I love, love leopard. leopard. Yes, you do. Le I do. Leopard is always sexy. Okay. <gasps> oh, this is the best news for me ever, Josh. We can just end style guide now. Leopard's <laughs> always sexy. Done. See Done. you later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of leopard, going into something, cat shoes. What's that? What is that? Okay, literally Taylor Swift wears these flats. She's worn two different pairs. One is a pair of flats with these cat cats on them, cat faces, with ears, the whole thing. Oh. And she wears a pair of heels, just at the BBC Awards. Really? Yes, they have cats on them. Beyonce's worn them, Katy Perry's worn them. They're cat flats. They're by Charlotte Olympia. Thoughts, Josh? Josh. Adorable. <gasps> Cute? Yeah, and I think if you're shy and want to talk to someone and mm. you're kind of like, oh, just walking up and like, oh, my kitties wanted to talk to your kitty, so let's show some talk. Oh, hey Taylor. <laughs> uh, uh. So it's a conversation starter. Yeah, and it's uh, yeah, and oh, it's adorable. And you, could, I think, with it, you should start having little puppies and monkeys. And I feel like it's going mm -hmm. to happen because yeah. how many cat shoes can you make? I feel like you got to venture into <laughs> other creatures, dogs, naturally. Yeah. And the dogs could chase the cats. And I mean, I want them to start making these for men also. I think oh. it could be really fun at the club rather than having those cheesy pickup lines like <laughs> uh, smashing your drink on the ground like, now that I broke the ice, like, <laughs> it doesn't work. Hey, have you tried it? Did it work with Tess? Uh, no. No. <laughs> I, I learned else? not to do that one. I got laughs. Okay. But he's going to buy her a pair of those cat shoes. For uh, sure. Yes. 
you can expect that. They're expensive. <laughs> what? They're uh, expensive. We'll see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But you know, it really does make sense. People always talk about like a cocktail ring or some sort of statement jewelry as mm -hmm. a conversation starter. The cat shoes are way cooler. Way cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm afraid you might not be able to see them if it's dark where you are. You True. Lift that, get limber, lift the leg up. Yeah, maybe do some yeah. like, kicks like you're a rocket. That could be a fun surprise. You're talking to someone, getting to know them, and then you walk from the dark to the light. Oh, I didn't know. I don't know. And you could continue the conversation. Mm -hmm. I, like I like it. it. So how much do these cost, these expensive cat shoes? Well, anywhere from $500 to $1,000. They're so adorable. I think they're going to catch on and hopefully I, become more affordable. Yeah. yeah. They do have budget-friendly versions. I have found them. We've done a story on Clever Style about the cat shoes. Phew. So yeah. you don't have to break the bank completely to yeah. get this adorable look that is approved by Josh. So. Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll come up. Uh, I'll, I'll come up to you if you have them. Yeah, with the catches. It's like opposite of the over-the-knee boots. Like if you want to look sexier, you wear those. If you want to look yep. cute and adorable, cat shoes. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, Josh, because you do have a significant other, what do you feel about matching? Couples. Guess, yeah. Like couples matching. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't. We don't always try to match, but we definitely try not to clash. And usually. That's good. Sometimes we'll have, like, some of the same colors. We'll both have. If she's wearing a blue dress, I'll have like a little like, blue shirt mm -hmm, under yeah. my jacket. So a hint of it, and it's kind of like, oh, they go well together. Yeah. Cute oh, coupling I over love there. That. So subtle. That's a good idea. Subtle matching is good to go. And usually, I mean, I'll get dressed, she'll get dressed if we're going out. She'll be like, Josh, that does not go with my dress. Like, change your clothes now. Okay. <laughs> you know, I heard a really good phrase, and it actually had to do with your jewelry that you wear, but I think it could go well for couples dressing. You don't want to look like identical twins, you want to look like distant related cousins. Hmm. So I guess then if we're in but a that's relationship, kind of weird we're if you're cousins dating. of the South. <laughs> Things just got really weird. Yeah, yeah, you're in a long distance know. relationship or something. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think I it's mean, cute to, you could tell, oh, they go together. Yeah. But we're not l like twins. Right. Okay. Okay. I feel good about that because yeah. I always want to do that, but some guys have a really big problem with matching or like being, you know, together with so their subtlety. together. Well, you're still, no matter what, if, like, uh, if the guy's wearing a suit, girl's wearing a dress, mm -hmm. even if they're similar and they match, they're not both wearing a dress. They're not both wearing a <laughs> That's a good thing. But I guess. Phew. But I guess for a same-sex couple, then I don't know you the rules. You could go twenties yeah. all the way if you wanted to. And that's to. adorable too. Yeah. I mean, like, oh, look at them. Oh, yeah. Corpse. But I kind of like it because, say, you know, you haven't put a ring on it yet or anything, but you're in a serious relationship, but you match a little bit. It's kind of like saying they're mine and I'm theirs. Don't Back mess with off. this anymore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. I feel I feel great about that yeah. connection. <laughs> <laughs> all right, moving into TV fashion, Josh. I mean, TV is your land, your place. Yeah. So there's two big shows for girls, Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars, both big for fashion. Which one, if you had to admit that you watched the show, has better fashion? Pretty Little Liars. Nice. All right. Why do you Why? say? Well, ooh, this is a hard, well, Gossip Girl, it seems like kind of New York pretentious, really like, oh, I'm rich and we're, yeah. uh, I'm all uppity. Where Pretty Little Liars, I think, is more down to earth and more relatable, and oh, they look like some nice people. Yeah. Even if even if they are pretty little liars. Yeah, they are. And the other ones, they're they, they just gossip. They just might gossip. Yeah. And liars, I guess. Oh, they're dangerous. But I know. We're not they're, talking about. You can get murdered on that show. I know. Watch out. Yeah. A, A's on the loose. I but you're agree right. with you. Yeah, I agree. Pretty Little Liars is way more accessible to the normal human. Mm -hmm. But I I would love to get in the closet at Gossip Girl. Let's I mean, not lie about that. Their wardrobe has to be unbelievable. But I mean, it's stuff that's probably like this shirt would be like five thousand dollars. Probably was. There'd be lots <laughs> of cat shoes in there, probably. <laughs> <laughs> lots, lots of expensive of cat shoes. Oh, that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go in their closet too. I know, right? Let's hijinks. <laughs> All right. Um, one last question. So this is always something I want to know. I know my boyfriend steals particular things of mine. So I want to know, Josh, do you ever steal beauty products or clothing from your girlfriend? Good question. Right? I love this question. I love it too. Um, I don't want to say steal, but share. Okay. Or, okay. Borrow. Um, night creams, night moisturizers. That's good. Like I'm 28, but I'm still a high school student on Glee. Mm -hmm. I was like, I gotta use some anti-aging moisturizer on my skin. I need to use that gift certificate to the spa and get a facial. <laughs> your skin Amazing. is glowing. Yeah, I mean, you what do exactly have nice skin. is your regimen? Because it's literally like a baby's bottom. You know, I've also <laughs> in a I've good been, way. <laughs> and the last year I started putting really good things inside my body and oh, been cutting cool. out a lot yeah. of 
a lot of the crap and I've been just reading of the dangers of high fructose corn syrup and eating organic fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And it's honestly, I feel better. And so putting just good healthy things I think gives you an outer glow. Yeah, agree. I agree with that. I've done a segment on that. It all starts from within, Josh. And I lost, I used to be like 12 pounds heavier than I am right now, believe it or not. Wow, really? Yes. Oh, I love Healthy that. Eden. Healthy Eden. Smart it's guy. It's hard to do. I know. You are smart. We need to do more segments with you, Josh. <laughs> I feel like I can learn a lot. Yeah. I'll do a whole nutrition segment with you. That Amazing. Yeah. Consider it done. I know I, some know. stuff. You know, I feel like you know a lot of things with that skin. I want your diet mm -hmm. immediately. You're juicing, aren't you? Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just bought a Vitamix. <gasps> love the Vitamix! Oh, oh my god, you both just freaked out. I love it. Right. It's so amazing, and it apparently has a lifetime warranty. Like, it's never yes. gonna break. Yes. So. Even better. Vitamix for the skin. I'm into this. Mm -hmm. you probably mm -hmm. do some facial creams, actually, inside the Vitamix. Google I mean, that. you never know. Yeah, you, you probably can. When you, I look at these facial creams and I read the ingredients, I'm like, oh wait, that's from a fruit, that's from a veg. I'd rather mm -hmm. just eat it rather than just rubbing it. You probably it. can yeah, do that too, a probably. snack, an expensive snack at that. Snack, snack. <laughs> yeah, it's more snack, money snack, for much. organic, but at least it has no pesticides, chemicals, none of that crap. I feel right. great about it. All right, oh. Josh, we love you on Glee. We really do, but I know you've got so much else on your plate, so tell us what else we can see you on. Okay, well there's this new show, The Wedding Band, coming out on TBS <gasps> November 10th. It's Brian Austin Green's new show. Love him. That's so soon! I got to guest star on an episode, and it's so much fun. Like Glee, it's a musical, original songs awesome. in every episode. So that comes out in November. I don't know when my episode's airing, but it's funny. Some of the producers came to me and said, you know, this is the funniest episode. So unless they say that to all the guest Congrats. actors. Congrats. Uh, it's really funny. Congrats. Thank That's you. That's amazing. So I hope it's a hit. Hope people like it. Hope people tune into TBS. We will. I'm also recurring on Fish Hooks as the evil oh, Randy yes. Fisherson. Yes, yes, yes. Evil. Yes. So that's funny. and. Glee, I'm still a senior in high school, so you never know when Jacob Ben Israel will pop back in. <laughs> and that Ra talk show in. Yeah, Rachel's now single in New York. Maybe Jacob will I pop mean, up, follow her to New York. Ooh. You never know. Mm -hmm. Maybe. That'd be cool. I mean, Jacob has the hots for Rachel. Spoiler <laughs> alert! No, that's just wishful Seriously. thinking. Seriously. That's wishful just wishful thinking. Thinking. <laughs> we wish it. We'll wish it for you. Wish it. <laughs> Join me in my wishes. Amazing. <laughs> All right, you guys, thanks for coming on. You especially, Josh, we loved having you. Thanks, I had a fun, I had fun being here with all you girls. You're a fashionista, officially. <laughs> yes. Congrats. Yes, definitely yes. official. <laughs> Welcome. All right, we'll see you guys next time on Clever Style. Bye, guys. Bye. Guys, what to wear? Confused? Should you wear the shirt? Should you wear the dress? Who knows? For all the answers, make sure you subscribe to Clever Style. Click the button. You won't regret it.